So I did the alternate knee recovery with an isopel off press and hold uh, a little while ago, and you guys loved it. Um, you said that you really felt your torso working and that it was a really great goalie-specific exercise. So that's beautiful. So let's make it harder. <laughs> so again, we talk about sometimes adding cognitive demand. And this is a pretty small cognitive demand, but you'll see how much harder it makes the drill. So instead of just holding here, what you're going to do is do a pal off press, and you're going to keep this type of rhythm regardless of what your legs are doing. So, um, and from a biomechanical perspective, when I'm here, not that much load on my torso. It's not trying to pull me off balance that bad. But when I'm here, it's a longer lever. There's a lot more force. So it's going to be different types of forces at different times. And I'm not really trying to time it with what my legs are doing. I'm just trying to keep that tempo. So keeping that tempo, I'm going to do two alternate knee recoveries with my right leg, two alternate knee recoveries with my left. Here we go. I think I did a bonus one. So <laughs> you can see how, you know, sometimes I wanted to get almost the same tempo with my legs or I lost count of what I was doing. So it really does add a cognitive demand, but also it's just that much harder to stabilize. What you do on the ice is so predictable, which is why it's such an amazing position and why I love training you guys so much. But we need to find a way to train some of that stuff in the gym as well. We still need to be strong in our legs, our hips, our back, do our squats, our deadlifts, all that stuff. But we need to get these specific ingredients to make you a great goalie. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com.